हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू पार्ट 5.5 ऑफ आवर एआई 102 क्वेश्चन सीरीज तो यू माइट बी वंडरिंग व्हाई देयर इज पार्ट 5.5 एंड सम ऑफ यू हैव माइट नोटिस लास्ट फ्यू मिनट्स ऑफ पार्ट 5 हैज बीन ट्रिम डाउन स्पेसिफिकली फॉर क्वेश्चन 44 एंड 45 एज मिस्टेकनली आई हैव अटैच रॉन्ग वीडियो फॉर क्वेश्चन 44 एंड 45 एंड डिलीटेड द करेक्ट वन व्हिच आई हैड टू पब्लिश सो हियर इज द करेक्ट वर्जन ऑफ क्वेश्चन 44 एंड 45 so let's start you are developing the shopping on the go project so we have noticed in our uh, case study that there are multiple projects we have like shopping on the go project and the product creation project smart e-commerce project so here is the shopping on the go project and it uh, has it's a basically a chatbot which can answer the common question and in these three languages english spanish portuguese and uh, it is going to replace an existing faq process and so that all the question and answer will be managed from a central location like we are going to build the knowledge base and we should provide all the employees to edit question and answer and only senior manager must be able to publish the updates and we already know from the azure resources section that uh, as a part of azure ad tenant uh, we have grouped all employees to all user group and senior managers belongs to uh, leadership team group so basically a uh, group of all employees that is all users should has the ability to edit q and a and uh, the group of senior managers that is leadership team has uh, should be able to publish the updates okay and uh, it should support the purchases by providing the information which are relevant to the customers and uh, product display should include images and warning when stock is low or out of stock okay so th this was the like clear uh, shopping on the go project so let's come to our question uh, and we are configuring access to qna maker yes we are going to utilize qna maker uh, to make that chatbot and which role you should assign to all users okay means what role you should assign so that all users has the ability to edit q and a basically this is what our question is so to understand this you should be familiar with the like roles related to q and a maker okay so le let's come to this link so here are all the defined roles related to q and a maker so first is owner so owner what it can do it can do all the things related to it and it has all the permissions second role is cognitive service contributor so contributor can also do all things except it cannot add the new members to the role okay so this is the permission it has next is q and a maker reader so it has only the read permission to read like basically question and answer so it can export and download the test basically it can download the knowledge base it can list the knowledge bases and get the knowledge base details and it can download the alteration and uh, like can generate the answer basically all read related task it can do next is cognitive services q and a maker editor so it along with the read permission it has the write permission as well so um, like it can export and download the test uh, apart from that it can update the knowledge base up, uh, export the knowledge base import the knowledge base replace the knowledge base and create the knowledge base and you can see all the api permission it has here last is cognitive services user so along with the read and write permission it has the published permission as well okay so it can do all task except it cannot add the new members to the role just like the contributor but apart from that it cannot also create the new resources okay but contributor can do so okay so like i hope now all the roles related to qna maker are clear to you so let's come back to our questions so our question uh, require uh, for the all users which should has the ability to create the questions basically write permission they want okay so which is available inside the qna maker editor so our answer is going to be qna maker editor and we already know user is uh, has the extra permission of publish so we want to give the least permissions uh, as possible contributor has more permission so this is like over privileged permission owner has all permission so this is not going to be my answer and read permission has less permission so editor is going to be my perfect answer for this 
So let's click on this and you can see all the related information has been provided here. Our answer. Next is you are developing the shopping on the go project you are configuring access to q a maker which role you should assign to the leadership team okay so now it is uh, talking about the senior manager which should have permission to publish it and we know from this article that uh, the user has the ability to publish it okay so we should provide the cognitive service user permission okay so this is the correct answer cognitive service user contributor has the extra permission like a contributor can also publish it but it has the extra permission to create new resources which we don't want it we just wanted to publish it so cognitive user will be like uh, perfect for me like contributor will be like over permission i am giving okay and we should always follow the principle of least privilege okay owner also has extra uh, like permission which i don't want q a maker editor it has the least le less permission which i require because i want to publish it and editor does not has published permissions okay and q a maker read it also has the less permission so this is not going to be my answer because i want the published permission as well okay so let's click on it and we can see like it's a correct answer that's all in this video see you guys in the another video make sure you subscribe the channel like this video and let me know if you have any doubts or have any feedback for me